A caucus of black educators within Milwaukee Public Schools is demanding the district terminate its half million dollar contract with the Milwaukee Police Department. Ben Jordan shares how educators believe that money could be put to better use. The Black Educators Caucus Milwaukee wants a district to spend that money to hire and promote more black teachers and to implement anti-bias training for all staff. Mayor Tom Barrett says he and the MPS superintendent are very concerned about what it would mean for student safety. For first grade teacher Angela Harris, talking with her students about the death of George Floyd has been an emotional and challenging experience. And I just really want my students to grow up in an environment in a city, in a country where they feel safe and they feel like their lives matter um, and they don't have to worry about what interactions with police may lead to. That's why Harris, the chair of the Black Educators Caucus Milwaukee, is calling for MPS to immediately end its contract with Milwaukee police. It's a police officer's job to respond to incidents that happen within the community. I don't think that that requires a contract between Milwaukee Public Schools and Milwaukee Police Department. Aside from hiring more black educators, Educators and providing inclusive training, Harris believes the money could be used to provide more mental health resources and a robust black studies curriculum for a district made up of more than 50% African American students. Milwaukee police responded by saying it will continue to support the district and its students. Mayor Barrett says he's not surprised by the push as other school districts across the country have gone in this direction, but he has his concerns. I think the more important question right now, um, and fortunately we're essentially at the end of the school year, is over the course of the summer, um, what steps is the school system going to take to make sure that the students are safe if there are going to be no police involved in it. The school board president says they are taking this request very seriously and they've scheduled a special meeting for next week to discuss it. At the MPS administration building, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.